This is the most easy method to perform drag and drop operation in your application. We are going to look at both of this example which is vertically and horizontally. We are going to create this application from scratch so let's get started. I have already set up my basic react application which I have been running at port 3000 which you can see here. Let us create some items which can be dragged and dropped later. For that I am going to use use state here. It will take initial value as array of objects. Now we can map this data right here. For this, let us create one items file inside this component folder. Let us import this items right here. Since we are matching, we need to provide a prop which will take id and we can spread this all of this element here. Now inside this items, we can destructure our id and content. Now we can show our content here. Right now our application is looking like this. I will add one class name here which is items. I have already added some CSS which you can see here in app.css. So we are going to perform drag and drop operation with this items. Right now these are not draggable because we haven't written any logic for them. You need to install some dependencies. So you need to first stop your application and write npm install at the rate dnd kit core. This is the main library which will help us to perform drag and drop operation dnd kit sortable. Along with this we are also going to install the last library which is dnd kit utilities. It will give us some helpful functions. So once all the dependencies are installed we can see them in packet.json along with its versions. Now let us open dnd kit documentation so we can take some help from there. Open this documentation and let us click on this button get started. As you can see we have already installed this dependency. So we will click here to get started. So here inside this API documentation, you will find this DND context. This is our first step. We will provide this DND context. This context will help React to understand that this is the area where all the drag and drop functionality will take place. So to do this, it is very simple. You need to first import it from DND code and wrap your application with this. So we will wrap this part with DND context. So we will write dnd context and it will be auto imported from dnd code. If it is not, you can always import it manually. Now this dnd context will take collision detection algorithm which you can find later in this documentation. As you can see here it is collision detection. So we need to write like this collision detection equals to and we are going to use this last algorithm which is closest corners. And this closest corners are is also going to import it from DNT code which you can see it right here. Now we are going to wrap this application further with sortable context which you can find it in the documentation inside this preset this sortable. As you can see we have already installed this DNT kit sortable and now we are going to use it in our application. We need to wrap our DND context. We need to wrap this sortable context inside this DND context. So it will come in, it will come after this DND context. We will wrap our application in sortable context. Let us format this. Now this sortable context will take few things. First is items. 
so item props will take the whole array so as you can see the whole array is stored in this data variable so we will provide this data variable right here next prop it will take it as strategy so we are going to provide that strategy equals to vertically sorting set strategy this strategy is perfect for our the current implementation now our next step will be to use sortable hook this hook you will find inside the documentation inside this preset you can see use sortable hook click here and you will see how we can use this so we need to import it from dnd uh, kit sortable this hook we will use inside this items component which we have created just now inside this items we are we need to use this hook first we need to import it and we will use as it is uh, mentioned in the documentation we need to extract some of the things from this use sortable hook and this hook will take an object inside that it will take id so here we are providing id providing this id is very important because by this id only it keeps track of which element you are dragging it and dropping it take out all of this from this use sortable hook and we will provide it here we will spread attributes listeners and in this ref we will provide set mode ref now as you can see uh, let us provide some styling also we will do same like this so you can copy it and paste it here and we will provide style equals to style and do not forget to import this and also import serial system dnd kit utilities and then we need to restart your application after doing this much you will find that you can now drag your elements but once you drop it it will go to its original position this is happening because we haven't written any logic for that what will happen when you drop an element so now let us go and write that logic for this you need to go inside your app.js and we need to provide that logic inside dnd context for that we have one prop which is on drag end this will take one function so let us write one function handle drag end and since this function is not defined let us define it here this will take an event and now we can extract few things from this event uh, which is active and over you will need to extract it from this event if you want you can console it and see let us inspect it now once you inspect it and try to drag your elements you will find that it is very difficult to drag and drop it is happening because uh, we have to provide some sensors here so currently my it is my mouse sensor so i need to give it here inside the sensors you will find that we have four different types of sensors which is pointer sensor mouse sensor touch sensors are for mobile devices keyboard sensors are by pressing control alt and up and down key you can control your uh, drag and drop functionality so you, you can also see that uh, right here and we are going to use this hook uh, which will come from this dnd context now we are going to use this in this manner so let us create this sensor uh, variable and provide it inside this dnd context so let us do that const sensors equals to use sensor now use use sensor inside this we will provide pointer sensor let us provide one more sensor which is touch sensor for mobile devices now we need to provide the sensors right here we can go in this items and 
let us wrap this content inside one more div and let us do some style. We need to provide one style which is touch action none. This is the CSS property. Now you can see this is our active object and over object which we were consoling it here inside our app.js in this line number 19 active object and over object you can see this has the id 2 and this has id 3 one of the edge case is suppose you drag this item 3 and drop it at the same place so you can see the active id is also 3 and uh, this over id is also 3 so at that time the position of this items are not going to be changed it will be uh, same as before so let us handle this edge case. So what we can write. So in that place we don't have to change our elements position in that array. So let us write that if active.id is equals to equals to over.id if the element is that means if the element is dragged and dropped at the same place. So at that time you don't have to do anything. Just return it from that from this function. If it is not so we need to take out two positions here original position get position so we will pass this in this function get position we will pass active.id here and we will also need one more position which is latest position this is the position where the item is dropped here we will pass over.id so right now we don't have this get position function. So let us create it quickly. Const get position. It will take id as a parameter. And inside this function, in this data, we are going to use inbuilt function which is find index. This find index will iterate with this in this array. So this will be the first position, second position. So this will iterate in this object. So we just take that object and we will check that if object.id if id in this matches with this provided id which we are passing it in this parameter. If it is it matches, so you need to return the id of that. So this is how this logic works here. We will get the original position and latest position. What we can do, we can uh, use this dispatcher function here which is set data we can put all this thing inside this only once we need to update our data and we can return it there is an inbuilt function which is array inbuilt which comes from dnd kit sortable this will help us to rearrange our position of our items so this will take our data the current uh, the current array and it will take original position and latest position. Now, when you will drag this element and drop it here, you can see now it is dropped where you have dropped it. Let us drop this element number 5. It is dropped it here. You can also drop this 6. Now, this element is working fine. Since these are simple cards, so you can drag and drop these cards without any headed hesitation. But if you may have written some of the logic inside this card, suppose this edit logic or delete logic or this toggle logic, so this logics will not work after you have written logic for drag and drop functionality. To make all of your logic works, what you need to do is you need to go inside the sensors and you can see one of the one of the thing is this is very important thing which is activation pointers uh, the same thing you have to provide it here with this pointer sensor like this you can make the distance as low as your application will work so i am making at 3 you can make any, any number uh, in which your application is perfect for this example we don't need to set up that but if you have you are creating something like uh, editing it or deleting it so this is very important that you write this line of code so let us provide one more sensor which is now sensor no. 
uses. One additional thing is inside the styles, you can type cursor and you can extract one more thing which is active. And you can check if it is active, then your cursor will be grabbing. Otherwise, your cursor will be grabbed. Let's see that. Now you can see it is grabbing. So you will get this hand icon. Which will give you the feeling of dragging and dropping. So this was all about vertically aligned uh, items. So now let us see what you can do for horizontal items. For that, you, uh, your items need to be in horizontal form. For this, I am going to use grid. As you can see here, display grid and my grid template column and some graph, gap property. So, I am going to go inside this app.js. Here, inside the sortable context, you will notice that this, this elements are still drivable and droppable. But uh, it is not giving us a nice feeling. For that, what you need to do is you need, you need to go in this sortable context, and here you will find that uh, inside the strategy we were using that is vertical list sorting strategy. Same that, same like that. We have horizontal list sorting strategy. If you will use this right here, you will find that. And you need to import it also. You will find that now your elements are drivable and droppable. Uh, if you if you like this way, which is fine. But what I like is rep swapping strategy. This strategy will swap our elements, which will give us the feeling of dragging and dropping only. So, if I need to swap this one and three, I can simply swap it. If I need to swap this item five with this six, I can swap it like this. So, for this example, I found that this strategy is giving better result than horizontal list swapping strategy. You can always come to this documentation and learn more about the strategy and experiment the strategies in your own application and Check what strategy works best for your application. That's it for this video. If you really understood how to perform drag and drop operation in your application, you can hit the like button. You can, if you have any doubts, you can write in the comment section below. You can also subscribe to my channel.